Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be reviewing the CM10.1.0 ROM RC1 for all your Galaxy S3s. So guys, let's get started. So uh, this is the latest stable release from uh, CyanogenMod, and as I said, this is version 10.1.0. So, I don't really know why they added the zero to the end. Um, not sure what reason they have there. But this is RC1. So, this is their first really, really stable ROM that you should have any problems with. So, as you can see right off the bat, it is blazing fast. Everything is going fast. Everything's opening really quickly. Um, obviously, you could tell this is Trebuchet Launcher. Go into settings and about phone of course you can tell that this is version Android 4.2.2 and uh, the build date is May 8th and it says CM 10.1.0 RC1 for my AT&T S3 but all the S3's are supported and some other devices too for this latest build here we have updates and statistics and changelog so you can look through here when there's a new update and you can easily update to the next version. So in interface, this is where you're going to have all your customizable settings. For launcher, this is where you could go to customize Trebuchet Launcher if you're going to be using that as your basic launcher. You have general, dock, drawer, and home screens. So we also do get settings from lock screen. If we enter lock screen here, we can change the default wallpaper, the battery status, the clock widget, maximize widgets, slide shortcuts, button actions, and screen security. So, pretty basic stuff under lock screen. And themes, of course, we can install any themes from the Play Store by searching them up and by clicking the apply button, and it will apply whatever theme you have installed. So uh, if we go into system, this is where most of the customization will be. Here we get status bar. We could go up here and change the clock, uh, whatever, where, where you want it to be, if you want AM, PM, what color you want it. If we go back, we can also, if, and back in the status bar, we can also change the battery status down, the battery percentage up there between circle with percentage, hidden, icon, and just percentage. Here we can enable expand desktop, which when you're watching a movie or something, you can disable the notification bar. If we go to quick settings panel, here we can go and customize our quick settings by just adding ones here, and if you want, removing them like that. And we get some other customization there too. If we exit out of that, we can enter into power menu. Here you could add um, more options to your power menu, and that's when you hold the power button. Oops. It'll show you this right here. And we can customize our clock widget, notification light, battery light, and our hardware keys to make them do what you want. But the basic thing why people love this ROM is because you really do get a really stable version of Android 4.2.2. It's really fast. It might not have the best features, but it fix it kind of evens it out with the speed that it gets. So um, let's do a quadrant standard test, and I'll be right back. So here we have quadrant standard, and now I'm going to run the benchmark. So guys, uh, as my usual rating of this ROM, I'm going to give this ROM an uh, 8. So the reason I gave it an 8 is yesterday, or a couple of days ago, I reviewed the Pac-Man ROM, and I gave that a 10. And that's because I had it, the same speed, but it also had so many more features. I mean, you got AOKP features, Paranoid Android, and CM10.1 features. And the reason I gave this one 7, even though you get that same amount of speed, you don't get all those features. So, 
I mean, it's still a really good ROM, but I'd have to go with Pac-Man ROM for now. So, let's just finish this Quadrant Standard Test to see the score. Uh, ALSP ROMs usually tend to score lower than Touchwiz ROMs. You can always install a kernel to get better speeds. You don't have to use these stock kernels. So, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I'm sick right now, so it's kind of hard. Okay, so here it says benchmark result. We're going to click yes. And so if we zoom in here, our score is 4,559. So a little bit better than uh, the score of the last ROM I reviewed. But of course you could still install a custom kernel which will make your speed even better. So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, make sure to hit like down below and comment. And, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.